lipstick on my teeth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not cute. <laughs> my bad. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to show you um, a monthly favorites for the month of January and just things I've been loving this month so without further ado let's get right into the video okay so I'm gonna start with beauty products first I'll probably just go right into face products that I've been loving so to start off I ordered um, a couple new things from Glossier obviously since I'm obsessed so I recently picked up their cloud paint in the color haze which is a little bit of a darker, kind of like, not burgundy, but it's, I don't know, what what's this color called? Like, what would you say? Almost fuchsia? Um, magenta, it's like magenta. <laughs> this color is awesome, it's very vibrant, um, especially on my skin, because I'm pretty pale right now. It's very bright, but I love like a bright blush. I've been really into like bright blush and like not so much bronzer, except for today. I only did bronzer, but. Mostly I've been into bright blush, so I definitely want to try this one. I have like all the other colors. So this one actually mixed with like puff is really, really nice too. So I've been loving that. Also in my recent order to Glossier, I picked up their stretch concealer and I can't believe I haven't tried this yet, but I've heard so much rave about it. I got the lightest shade. It's obviously matches my skin because I'm, like I said, so pale. It's very, very lightweight and um, I've just kind of been like using it kind of in the areas that I really need to like tone down any redness. So just obviously under my eyes for my bags and then like around my nose, my chin, maybe like a bit on my forehead. Some more face products I've been loving and just using religiously is the Glossier Priming Moisturizer in Rich. I've been using this all winter and it's kept my face so moisturized and soft and not like flaky and dry and gross. And I've been using this actually as my primer. So I haven't been using really like a face primer. I've just been using this as my primer for makeup as well. And it's awesome. For under my eyes, I've been loving the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to brighten and depuff. This is like so brightening if you need to really brighten under your eyes, which is like my main thing. I don't really have like super dark circles, but also um, I just picked up the Tatcha uh, Luminous Dewy Skin Mist this month and I've been using it all month and oh my gosh, amazing. Um, I still use like the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray, but I use this actually to um, spray like my beauty blender or my makeup brush and then like work my makeup in and it's, oh my gosh, so amazing, you know. Wait. It smells so good, oh my god. It smells like you're on vacation. I don't know why, but love. Um, in terms of makeup, I have been trying a new bronzer in the last couple of weeks that I actually really like. It's the Fenty Beauty, um, one of their like bronzer sticks. This is in the color Amber, and it's a very cool toned bronzer with me being very pale. Um, I definitely want a bronze, but I find like a lot of bronzers look orange on me for some reason because I'm like so pale right now. So I heard from like a beauty blogger that I follow that this is really good for paler skin tones. So I picked this one up. I have a lot of new lip products that I have been trying out. They're actually pretty much all drugstore. First one is this collab brand, which you've heard me use before. I have like a couple of their brushes and the bronzer I use. This is their Matte Addiction Liquid Lipstick. This is the red color, Blood Rush it's called. And honestly, I always used to use like, there's like the wand. I always used to use the Kylie, um, like Mary, what is it called? Mary Jo, okay, Mary Jo K okay, or whatever. Their red, Kylie's red lipstick. Um, but this one's actually way more of a true red, whereas I find hers is very like pink undertone, and which I don't really like that much. I'm actually wearing it today, but I put a gloss over. Um, but like that's how red it is, like very red. The next lip product I've been loving is the L'Oreal Invaluable Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. <laughs> and it's a nude color I have here. It's the shade 354 Nudist. It's just like obviously nude. Who doesn't love a good nude? This one has a little more of a pink, like, darker pink undertone to it. It's not like so brown. The next one is Maybelline and it's a Superstay Matte Ink in the color 55 Driver, also another nude, <laughs> obviously. Um, this one's definitely more of a brown undertone. It almost looks like Exposed by Kylie, if you ever have tried that one. That's 
kind of like a dupe for it. Yes. Scent I've been loving this month and it's been a favorite, which it's been a favorite for like over a year, but like I thought it included, is the Chanel Chance. Um, this is like the yellowish bottle. I know they have like pink and blue and all that, but whatever this one is, I don't know if there's like a specific name to it, but I just got a new one for Christmas and I love it. This is like my favorite all time go-to, like really nice, like luxurious kind of scent to wear. Another favorite has been Lush um, products, mostly bubble bath. Um, I do like bath bombs, but I like bubbles in my bath more. I'm like an avid, like bubble bath person. So um, this is one of my favorite scents or like favorite ones. It's like this orange, like creamsicle looking, like it's just so pleasing to look at. And like the smell, it's like creamsicle. Okay, so moving into clothing and fashion and accessories, I'm gonna start off with a couple of sunglasses that are definitely my favorite this month and probably will be all summer. These really, really, rad sunglasses I ordered online. Obviously, you don't find this stuff in like Forever 21. <laughs> so these ones are the first pair. Obviously like super extra, but I mean, I'm into it. So I got these ones on an, a website. I will link them down below because I actually don't remember the name of it offhand. The next pair are these, again, super different, but like I love, love, love. They're like super narrow, kind of like little holes for your eyes and then the frame is like a tortoise shell but i'm definitely going to be wearing these in europe this summer and you know just killing the game um i didn't really like grab any jewelry accessories but mostly i've just been loving like chains obviously that's like all i wear <laughs> i sell it <laughs> um but just like a lot of like layered chains for earrings i've been doing just like basic hoops all the time so that's usually what i have on my ears um but i didn't really bring any extras to kind of show just kind of threw it in there. Next, something that I've been loving are these like sheer, that's what I didn't take the tag off yet. These like sheer sparkly tops and then like at the end, it's like a little like ruffle. So cute. I've been loving these to like layer under like a more summery top, like just a tank or like a bustier kind of top and layering them under like slip dresses. So I have like this purple one too and it's like, all sparkles. I have like a black one. They're just so cute. Sometimes it's like even cute just to wear a bralette under because it's kind of sheer. I've also been super into like the grommet belt um, kind of trend going on. This is like totally 90s, like 2000s coming back, but I have it them in every single color, like pink. I got this like super, I got this super cool metal one. It's like a silver metal. And then I'm like wearing one today. And I'll just like either like let this like hang super long or you can do that like whole folds thing where it like goes back through the loop. Super cute. All right, so these pants have been a huge favorite of mine all month. They're the IMG Ace pant. Um, and it's just kind of like almost like a jean look. And then like this, like it just looks like a seat belt or something like a seat belt, like clip kind of belt. And you can actually take this belt off and wear it on other jeans, which I'm definitely gonna do because it's so cute. Okay, so next I've also been super, super into um, just like 80s, 90s, whatever you wanna call them, um, like just vintage looking um, jackets like the one I'm wearing. So this one, super cool. It looks like old like Versace or something. I also have this one, which is like just jewel tones, almost looks like necklaces or something all over it. And they're almost like bomber style, just, you know, very cute, but I think they're so fun to play up just like a basic black outfit. Um, and these ones I got from um, a store in New York City called the Vintage Twin. So they carry obviously all vintage stuff. Some stuff is expensive and some stuff is pretty cheap. These were about like 50 bucks, so not too bad, but you can find them in thrift stores. Just, I find now it's harder to find like cool stuff like this because everyone is thrifting and taking everything, so. <laughs> Okay, so another huge favorite, obviously, if you guys know me, are these beaded bags that are like super vintage looking. Well, I think they are vintage. Like I thrifted all of these except for one. This one, it's like all beads. I don't know if it'll focus. And then like the handle's beaded and then this little twist clasp thing, but this is just so cute. This one is like a longer um, like crossbody little bag again like all beaded and then just like that 
This one I also thrifted. This one's so cute. I actually originally saw this one um, at a Value Village and then I didn't buy it. And then I thought about it for like three weeks and had to go back and get it. And it was still there. So I feel like this is not something that like it's everyone's kind of like cup of tea, but um, like I love them. So hopefully no one else likes these so I can keep buying them all. Is this one, which is amazing. Um, this one's the uh, brand, well, it's a girl who makes them. Her name's Susan Alexandra, and um, she makes the most gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bags. And she even makes like a couple pieces of jewelry and stuff like that, very colorful. Um, so this bag, just like, when you look at it, you're just like automatically like so happy in like summer. summer vibes. So the last thing that is in this favorites video um, are these, well, just in general, like just chunky like boots like this that I've been wearing obviously all winter in Canada. We get a lot of snow, so I need boots. Um, so these ones I've been wearing a lot with like all the buckles and like the silver hardware. They're kind of open, but like still really cool. These ones are from that Linterval store, whatever the one that's based in, it's based in Montreal. It's real leather and everything. Like they're super like heavy duty, like good boots. Um, so I've been loving these ones also cause they look like the Balenciaga boots. So got these ones, which are super high platform. Um, I changed the laces. Like I always change laces on my boots to kind of change them up. So it's not just like black, but they did come with just black laces. I just changed it to the checkered. Um, but these ones were like, half off when I got them. So I think they were like a hundred bucks, which for like real leather boots is really good. So I've been loving these ones as well. But yeah, so that's it for this uh, January favorites, things I've been loving, whatever you wanna call it kind of video. I hope you guys enjoyed and leave a comment down below of what your favorite item is or if you tried any of this stuff, um, what you like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and wanna see more videos. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to follow me on all my social media, which is always linked down below and I'll put it up on the screen here. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week, bye.